let's talk a little bit about this KKR story. Let's do it. Taking a publisher private? Yeah. That seems like that's very uh, debt laden and publishing. Is that still a business? Say, uh, I was is like, that wait, still, there's still a still German around? publisher alive? Right. That was my actual interpretation of this. Bertelsmann is still is now part of them and this is a really interesting story. I can't remember the last time I heard about a, I think Business Insider was the last publisher that was bought and that was a good, good couple of years ago. It's interesting because, right, that was a good couple of years ago. They were unprofitable, Business Insider, for a while, and last year they started showing some numbers. So it's an interesting time to do a deal. Mm -hmm. um, Axel Springer itself, they were doing pretty well in their first run up in this new online strategy they have going on here. And so the idea here is with KKR as a partner, they can do more acquisitions. So, you know, if this were to go through, the future might be a lot more exciting than the deal right in front of us because there are a lot of kind of, you know, struggling online media outlets out there right now. So if you take a whole bunch of struggling online media outlets and put them together, them together. <laughs> they somehow no longer struggle I guess there's economies of scale well, in in you know that there's an infinite number of web pages and we've watched uh, CPMs drop over the past 10 or so years from fairly rich to practically free, Google has taken over that space. That's exactly the question here. The person they're really competing with is Google and Facebook, isn't mm -hmm. it? So, yep. you know, the, you know, 2004, they wanted to buy the Daily Telegraph, right? And so if you look back at how fast media has changed, what will online be in five years? It's a big bet to make, but at least now, if they do this with KKR, they can do it in the private eye.